Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more EU4 Lion of the North. And it's going to be a good one. I'm excited about this one. We do have naval superiority. Um, the English are certainly not... Oh, how does Austria have 20 galleys? Really? Okay, that's impressive. But England has nine heavies, but I strongly... Um, don't believe that he's going to be getting anybody <clears throat> landing any men so or coming into the baltic as we um basically have a monopoly on it i will however enlist a admiral just in case let's go down to speed four here so this war is going to be really important because basically what this war is going to be doing is we are going to just ruin austria before the um the protestant league begins but i do need to get this war over with in a timely manner because we need to make sure that we are not um at war when the protestant league begins because otherwise we will get excluded from it so let's see here oh wow that's a lot of men okay uh well i guess we're just gonna so we are at war with poland as well are they just allied yeah they're just allied it's fine Oh, that's a lot of men. That's crazy, dude. Are they really going to sink that many men into manpower? What are you doing, dude? That is, like, really dumb. Okay, um... Do we have a good general? I think it would be ill-advised. Eh, he's cruel, though. Eh, he's not very good regardless. Um... So we're way ahead. We could totally recruit two more. So I uh, this is a habit that I've gotten away from, but I'm going to get back into it. We are going to start naming our generals. So I will name it after my my personal friend and our big time supporter on Patreon, Corbett. And so he's a damn good general. Um, and then we'll also record another one or record recruit another one. And this one will be. Uh, Classified for life, but we call him classy in the discord. He's uh, pretty bad. So we're gonna re do we're, we're gonna reroll that one So classy much better much better The two shock is pretty good All right, so now we have two generals that are worthwhile so essentially we're just gonna be Hmm This province wouldn't be good to fight in They have so many men up here, but that means the Ottomans have to just be piling on up here, right? I mean, the Ottomans... Who has all the men? Well, you have to basically subtract England's, so they basically have 100,000. 100 and... or... 20... or 95, give or take. Uh, do we have anything here that's important? No. So... And this is also a pain in the butt. So, we're not at war with Bavaria. Aye, aye, aye. I think I can handle that, though. Eventually. I mean, this truce isn't going to be up for oh, a couple more years. So, the okay, so let me walk you through our short-term goal. So, within the next 10 to 15 years, we are hoping to destroy them and just, like, ruin them completely. Oh, by the way, I hope you guys like the new map mod. I uh, updated it, so now it doesn't show the snow and stuff in the mountains. It's, like, semi-transparent before. I think this is a nice touch. It's kind of like a... You can see kind of the vanilla textures with a little bit of di change to it, so hope you like it. Regardless, uh, I, I digress. So we're going to beat up on Austria-Hungary, just destroy them. We are going to invade Pomerania while Austria will not defend him, ideally. And then the truce with Denmark will be up and we will invade him and we will ideally conquer all of it. All of um, North Jutland, Schleswig-Holstein, and Denmark. But that will all be after this, and that's going to really depend on how we handle this war. Speaking of that, our force limit is certainly higher than what we're sitting at right now. So let's get some more men. Let's go with four cav each, and then build those guys up. So they're both up to, uh, they'll be both stacks of 21 now. Speaking of that, I'm being a dingus, and I should certainly have my defensiveness edict here. Because that's, oh, 44 day siege ticks. They don't stand a chance. They have no cannons on it either. It's all men. 
All men. It, it's literally all men. Oh, they have four cav. So silly. Why would you do that, dude? And as soon as they get it low, like, their manpower is going to be draining so fast right now. I mean, they are- you do have to keep in mind that they are the Emperor, so their manpower is- Oh. Oh. Baby, what is you doing? Ottomans. No, don't do it. It's grasslands. I don't want to do it. They do have a good general. It's a pure infantry army. I mean, we win this. For sure, but... I would have rather not done that. Regardless. Let's get off of here. Hopefully we aren't taking that attrition. Very good. So let's get you guys split off so you're not taking too much attrition. And let's get you guys down here and group it up with this guy here. We will run around this way. Hopefully avoid that attrition there. Beautiful. And then, oh, apparently we got to come this way because of zone of control. We will certainly just break that wall. The sooner we can truce Poland out, the sooner we can actually get into the fun part of the war, right? There you go. Leave some infantry behind so they're not taking all that attrition. Break his walls. Oh, shoot. Um, right. Okay. Well. Slight miscalculation on my part. Let's see, does Onhalt have our dynasty? They do not. Would we get a PU? Nope. How about you guys? Oh, they do have our dynasty. They would- we could offer them vassalization. Oh, shoot. Um... So if I could get my relations up with them... Okay, so now I can enforce peace. Who is helping them in that war? It's just one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, well... So who's got better cores? Mm. They both have good cores and they don't really... Eh, they overlap a little bit. That would mean I would probably have to go to war with Muscovy though, but he would be a good vassal to have. Hmm. Okay, so let's actually do this. We're gonna go to war with him, and that's fine. Um, it should be just him. It's going to take him a long time to siege that down. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah. So he'll be occupied for a while up there. Um, keep on converting. Do we have the correct... We do. We are in war mode, so we have our war... things. Let's go ahead and get these guys over there. As soon as we win these sieges, we're going to split one of our stacks off to go siege down Polotsk. And speaking of that, we need to keep our... Because we're going to vassalize him. He'll diplo-vassalize, so that'll be perfect for us. There we go. So we won that one. Let's get you guys over there. And we won the Siege of Warsaw, so we can... Come over here, stack wipe that little stack there. Oh, nice little bit of attrition there. For funsies. And let's get down here and start sieging down Hungary. Hey, very good. And then so they will accept vassalization. Perfect. And just like that, we just gained, you know, however much dev that is from clicking a button. 43 dev, that's pretty good. <laughs> I'll take that. That's pretty lucky. And that would mean we get to attack Chernigov. Muscovy... But the idea is we wait for Muscovy to have something going on where he's not going to be joining. Because this, this Muscovy is looking good, honestly. He looks pretty good. Um, damn. Do these zone of control? Okay, so they can't get into the interior of Sweden. Oh yeah, our, our fort zone of control is pretty good. We are going to lose all this... prosperity, but... That's okay. We're good. I'm gonna hold on to my money for now. I will send this stack up. I'm pretty sure that these guys down here are good because the Ottomans are gonna be down here. Okay. 
Uh, Poland annuls treaties and we'll pay money. We get some money, so that's nice. We're gonna pay to break that. So let's get you guys up here. We could boat bomb them. We only have eight transports, so it's probably not not uh, not smart. I can't believe that he's gonna be our friends. I feel like we destroyed him for land, but maybe it was just Poland with the Teutons. Defender of the Protestant faith? I might have to do it. They gave up on that one. So this one, they actually have cannons on it. But it's mountains, I believe. It is. Okay, so we got everybody here. Classy has got our four maneuver, but I think we could do one better. Get our six maneuver Corbett up here. So they don't have a general in that fort. So we won the fort down here, and let's get on to uh, Vienne. Which I'm actually, so here's something interesting for you. I was talking to a girl who spent some time in Bavaria uh, working, and she said that it's called like Wien is like how it's actually pronounced, like how, how they say it in German. Correct me if I'm wrong. I thought that was pretty cool. But I remember I heard a guy calling it wine one time, and I thought that was really funny. I think it was like Richard Shrew. Another smaller YouTuber for you four. So this should be a stack wipe. Oh my gosh. England. What? Bro, hold on. Screenshot. Disgusting. Disgusting. That'd make a good thumbnail. That's like that video of that Scottish mom where she's yelling at her kids. She says, which one of you doesn't know how to flush the toilet after you've had a shit? <laughs> Disgusting. One of my favorites. So they've got a solid chunk of men up here, ruining my prosperity. Definitely gonna go with local defensiveness there. I think we can clear it off here. No point in spending all that money. But they're smart. Now they're only taking 1% attrition as compared to the 5 they were before. So they've lost almost a quarter. Well, not a quarter. 20... A quarter of 100. <laughs> 22,000 men they've lost to attrition. So inefficient, man. Well, meanwhile, their capital's getting sieged down in there at negative... Their siege ticks are so long. Oh, it's so long they had a disease outbreak? No, they did not. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't go all the way, you dingus. So, hmm. Yeah, like, if I leave the Baltic, they'll sink me. I only have four heavies to their nine. I'm feeling a little... A little ambitious, though. Let's see what we can come up with over here. We just need to make sure that they're not attacking me on Vienna. Okay, so they're actually pulling away. So let's see here. Can I catch them? Lock them in Shellen? I think I can. Uh, what? Is this good? I can't tell. Do I have Navy Tradition? I actually never know where Navy Tradition is. Where is it? Is it here? Oh, geez, we have 12. Well, in that case, I don't care. Heck, I might actually recruit another general. We still have large PP, so we're good. Get some money from you guys. Put that money into building up the force limit. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess I don't need all you guys. Let's just send you guys up here and we'll see the back. I think he's locked there in Chelin. Um, So I basically just took, you know, 40,000 men out of the fight. Which... Certainly turns the war into our favor. So, let's see here. I cannot declare. So, I need to really devastate him. So, here's something I'm going to do. I'm going to Scorch Earth because it's going to devastate all of his land by an extra five. Costs a little bit of mill points, but I think it's definitely worth it. So let's get you guys split up and covering all that. Makes me happy that we could catch those guys and get them stuck over there. Who wants to attack them in the mountains? I suppose I'll join. They're probably going to get reinforced from Linz. No, they're not. Well, I'll be damned. 
Let's see when that siege there. So our, the thing is, is we have to wait for them to peace out. My truce is up with them, and I could definitely declare Brandenburg and Frankfurt would be no non-issues. <clears throat> But I would have to fight this uh, Austrian stack, which is obviously not what we want to do. Hmm. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Oh man, it does feel good to see that blue sieging down Austria's capital. A little bit of production won't hurt. Okay. Oh, missed one. Taking a little bit of attrition. We're good. We're still almost at max. These siege ticks are pretty long though. So let's make sure we're not spending money we don't need to on uh, these things. Don't need that one there anymore. Uh, don't need that one there. When can we get rid of this one? December, so next month. Don't want to pay for it if I don't have to. My ports are blockaded, so the English are coming. They only have three heavies in that fleet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna detach one cog. I'm going to go fight them. Oh, they ran away. The sissy boys. Lady boys. All right, come here. No offense to lady boys out there. I think we win this. They do have their wooden wall. Oh no, they don't. Oh, they do, yep. All right, so as soon as the rest of his heavies, so he still hasn't doesn't have his heavies in here. We're losing some ships, but they're losing more. They're losing way more than we are. Man, what a slaughter. Oh man, this has been such a good episode so far. We just got 10 naval tradition. Oh, he got 10. What? Bro, he just got his butt whooped and I only got one and a half? Riddle me that one. Interesting. Well, that was awesome. So those are heavies and my ships are extremely damaged. So I need to ideally avoid them. Hmm. Let's see here. Yeah, I'd rather not fight those guys. Rather get a couple of repair ticks. So we won the siege of here. Be in Graz on the 30th. We'll be there before him. Hmm. Suppose I could chase him into Linz. Come on now. Ottomans are gonna stack wipe him over there, so that's good. Cool. Let's get you guys up here then. Get ready to fight him. Okay, so palm the platinate pieces out. That would mean they would probably join that one now. Hmm. Bummer. If I'm gonna declare this war, I should probably do it soon, but I don't want to. So how many of Britain's heavies did we sink? Three. It's pretty good. Okay, yeah, those guys got stack wiped. Yeah, this is, uh... Ottomans have lost the 23,000. Ottomans have lost almost as much as their entire coalition has. So, you're just conquesting Dalmatia, so... I suppose... Oh, I don't even need to be in here. Oh, well this is easy. So what I'll do is I'll transfer... Hmm. Because if I transfer this, I lose... So, yes, this is about individual war score, right? So since I'm not the leader... So if I peace out, it's gonna give him... So if I do that, I lose a lot of my war score. I do, but I can keep. So let's give him all of this. And I think I'll be able to white piece. And now, yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, and nobody will want any of this land. Well, that's fine. I won't call you in just in case. This is ideal. This is absolutely ideal. Very good. Well, that went off swimmingly. Let's give them one more repair tick. Uh, we lost our cog. Feels bad, man. I was being reckless. I left them there to 
hang tight, so. So the new emperor is here, and it is indeed Austria. He's uh, pretty young, so it's looking like the succession is safe. Just wanna... Ooh, Prince Queen Consort. It's always a nice thing to have. Suppose we can uh, we can afford that. Horse limits looking pretty good. We've got our uh, okay, very good. So let's see here. Can we full annex them? No. Okay, this is much more reasonable. Let's see here. Who would be joining it? Yeah. So that one's just way too much. This one we could probably improve relations with a few people so they wouldn't join. Not him. He hates us, and he hates us as well. I guess if a few people join, it's not a big deal, because they'll probably still join the Postant League anyways. Magdeburg, we can improve with him. And Lubeck, we can improve with him. Cool, AE impact reduction. Well, that's good timing. Hey, very good. So what about this now? Yeah, it's still too much. Well, that's fine. What do we, we only have claim we don't have a claim on it, so that's probably why we're getting much more AE anyways. So let's actually get you guys over here. No, oh, come on, man. Now I gotta pick them up like that. Side with the burgers is always a good choice, because then you can just do that. So somebody killed all their men. It wasn't me, but I'm glad it happened. So let's get you guys over there with uh, Corbett. Win that siege ASAP. Looks like these guys are still on their way. There we go. And uh, printing press is here. We'll get it real quick because it is. Uh, we are Protestant, so we have them utterly defeated. Transfer trade power, give me all their money. And just like that, I should also to obfuscate that as well as keep um, the, uh, what's it called? Unlawful territory from happening. We'll have to fight all these guys and that's totally fine. On halt would join. And let's go for the conquest of uh, Shalin. We certainly have the superior navy. They don't have one, so that's uh, pretty good. And then let's get these guys transferred over there and get you guys brought up over here. So this one will be our stack that will siege down Denmark. We can take tech. Which one is it? Mill? Oh, both of them actually. Uh, we'll keep an eye on it. Usually I check around the monthly tick. This is It's way too much ahead of time right now to uh, justify that. Okay. So Brandenburg, we can piece them out pretty quick. Very good. What an action-packed episode. I'm actually really happy with this one. This has been a good one. Oh, what are we doing? We should definitely be uh, doing that. There we go. Stop them. Lose all the money that I just took in that war. The Swedish New World. Subject country is a colonial country. Interesting. We can get a... Uh, what's that country called? Vinland, right? So, do we destroy... I think... No, we don't have any professionalism, so we might as well just take the money in the mill points, right? Oh, Copenhagen. Uh, well, I plan on taking it, so I suppose I probably shouldn't. I'll just wait a monthly tick. There we go. Very good. I thought it was Berlin. If it was Berlin, I totally would have done it. And we'll get the... Oh, I guess I got a subscriber, so thanks for that. <laughs> Still don't know how to mute that. If I can. Alright, last time we're gonna do that. I do want to take the Miltech ahead of time. So we're still ahead on these. We're ahead on all three, actually. We'll be able to get all three of them soon. Innovativeness isn't a good idea set. So let's get you guys wiped out. Very good.
Brandenburg will, uh, ooh, they will peace out. We're probably not actually going to be able to take any land in this one, but we might be able to transfer his vassalage. Oh, goodness gracious, that'd be a big coalition. Could make him a vassal, which I think would then make... I don't know how that would work, actually. It's interesting. Well, we do have claims on all of this, including Bornholm. Very important. So let's see what it would cost. Way too much. How is it that cheap? It's only 100 to vassalize him. Goodness gracious. It's very tempting. To just, like, go through and figure out all the AE. Well, let's actually see. I'll, I'll humor the idea. I really will. So let's see here. How many of these guys would not join if I just waited a couple years? Not very many of them, honestly. Yeah, most of them are just super high. So that's fine. We'll just take... The Denmark states. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think it... Damn, man. Do I pay the 200 Diplo for that? Poopy. Oh, by the way, let's get these guys un... Black flagged. Oh, I have to go back to my homeland. Lame. Alright, so let's see here. We're still good, still good. Yeah, I'll call you. It's all good. Does Lithuania have any men? Oh, he's got some men. What's his ideas actually looking like? Economic manpower recovery is good. Tolerance of heretics is good as well. So we are at war with uh, Frankfurt and Bo uh, Palatinate. Wait till the month, the yearly tick. Let's go with uh, land maintenance is always a good one for the attrition. I think I'll go with that. Diplo support. There we go. Come siege down Frankfurt. So, yes, let me have it. Still have the innovativeness available from all three of these. Hmm. We'll see. I think we're gonna have to finish this war up in the next episode. Um, I don't really know what we're going to be able to take. As far as aggressive expansion goes, we might not be able to take much of anything. We'll probably just have to end his um, lordship and then we'll take Denmark in the next war. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to full annex the entirety of these these uh, three states that he has here. We'll see though. If you guys are excited for the next episode, I'm thinking the next episode is going to be where the event will trigger. Either there or soon after. Um, if you're excited, show your support. Leave a like. We got, finally, have our British Baltic down here. Or British. <laughs> Swedish. So let's see how close we are to getting uh, Sweden isn't over here. Where is that at? Right here. We're very close. We just need to annex him. And then these three. Are, Bjornholm, does Bornholm count? I think it does. Yes, it is glowing. So we just need four more provinces and to annex him, and uh, we're God. We're good. We're good. Right, English. Regardless, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to check out the Discord, or if you'd like to support the channel via Patreon, the links for those are going to be in the description down below. And with all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. Special thanks to Corbett Gaming, Classified for Life, Lemongrass Bob, Bloodbound92, Ratter the Beautiful, Lambda Driver, and Damien Hartvig, as well as others for their awesome support on Patreon. It's very much appreciated. If you guys would like to check out a couple of other series we have going on, they're going to be linked over on the right. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.